Good morning, CSA friends. Um, have you ever lost a recipe from a loved one? Have you ever talked about, I wish I had that recipe? Well, we are continuing with the series of filming Lessons with Bubby. And today we're at Dorothy Ditch's house and we're gonna make her famous Czech apple bars. So first we're gonna introduce ourselves. I'm Heather Kosky. I'm with Lodge 151, Betsy Ross. Hi, I'm Aubrey. I'm with Lodge 121, Karu Asso Jen Apanu. Hi, I'm Kelly Vegan with Lodge 409, DuPage Pioneer. Hi, I'm Dorothy Ditch with Lodge Brock of Velke 137. So we're going to proceed with Dorothy showing us how we're going to make these apple bars. And so let's go at it, Dorothy. What you want? What is our first step? Well, I've got the recipe here, and we need, I, I buy the bars that I don't just dig out, out of the can. So is that Crisco? Yeah, it's Crisco, and it's the buttery one. Okay. You can use the other one, but I like the buttery one. So you chop it up in pieces to make it easier for yeah. putting everything we're together? To, we're going to cook, bake it, or we're going to mix it rather like you do your pie mix. Okay, so like a pie crust kind of thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. That out like this. Okay, we're going to add two and a half cups of flour. Butter and flour, it's always a good start. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to add salt and sugar. We're going to add a tablespoon of sugar. And a teaspoon of salt. So quiet. I'm sorry, but I use my hands to mix. That's the best way to do it. That way you can feel it, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like the texture, do you add more flour? No, I don't? won't add. Okay. Mm -hmm. It should be, it should be good. I hope. I'm <laughs> sure it will be. As you said? Butter. Butter. <laughs> Sugar. And if you use the buttery Crisco, it just, I don't know, it just adds a little bit more flavor than just lard Crisco. Mm -hmm. okay. How long have you been making this recipe, Dorothy? Oh. As long as you remember? Yeah. Then we're going to... This is the only bad part. You gotta get your hands clean again. We're gonna take an egg and I'm going to separate the egg yolk. You're a pro. I was gonna say. I wouldn't be able to do that that well. Excuse me, I'm I need sorry. to get the milk out. And we'll fill this cup. Now maybe somebody has a better way of doing this, but this is the way I do it. Well, it's the true two, two, way to do it. You do it. So two two thirds cup. Mix it a hair, but not much. Won't taste that much. And then add it to your flour and lard, or flour and shortening. Getting your hands dirty again. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> now.
Now it's kind of sticky, so I'm going to have to add a little bit of flour. So you're trying to get it so it's not sticky at all? Well, yeah, I don't want it. I want to be able to roll it out, but I don't want it to be sticky like this. Okay. Okay. So you are basically making a pie crust because you're rolling it out? Yep. Okay. So how did you get this recipe? Or where I got it from my husband's aunt. And um, I haven't tried it yet, but I, uh, I want to try it one of these days of using... Uh, I make apple bars, and I'd like to make peach bars. Oh, so she makes peach bars too? Yeah, I think that that would really taste good. It would be good in the summer. Yeah. yeah. And since I make this so often, I made 11 of them for Christmas for my grandchildren. They wanted me to make stuff that I'm, I make so that they can... Enjoy it, I guess. That's a good present. Food's always good. I was gonna say. So, I'll take food. <laughs> I'll give you my address. You can ship some to me next year. <laughs> <laughs> so you flour the board? Yep. It just kind of form a little ball. So will this recipe, how many apple bars do you get out of this recipe? Two or oh, two no. pans or one I'll pan? I'll get one pan this size. Okay. So is that like a nine by 13? Yeah. Okay. And when you roll, roll so that you, you have the form that you're going to put it in. And a lot of times I have to piece a little bit because a little bit doesn't get. And since I make this so much, this last summer, I uh, decided to, I always did make uh, or can apple, apples. So this summer I made apples. <laughs> I canned 30 quarts of apples. Oh wow. And it's not too bad except I do have a thing so that when I peel them, I don't have, I have a cutter that. So you're not using a knife? No. no. And now you kind of have to piece it a little bit. Because it doesn't always come out like you want it. And that's, it's easy to just add to it. Okay, now I take some cornflakes, the sugary ones, and I squish them and I make a, just cover the bottom. So is this like frosted flakes, like the Tony the Tiger frosted flakes? Yeah. Okay. And just cover the bottom and it helps to, okay. Then I have a quart of 
apple pie filling. And you don't want to, it sometimes gets quite runny, so you, I just hold a spoon in there and so that it doesn't, and then just and spread it around kind of so it makes an even. Now, when you cook that, will the cornflakes soften? Pardon? Will the cornflakes soften after you bake it? Sometimes you don't use the whole quart. It kind of depends. Usually, I use a bigger, a little bit bigger pan to put this all on. But uh, okay, didn't use it all, but that's all right. Now we're gonna roll out the top. What's the temperature? 375. Okay. <laughs> and you don't want this top to be real thick, so you just keep rolling until you get it nice and thin. Sometimes you have leftovers, and if you do, you just put it in the refrigerator, because next time you might need a little extra. Okay. So you're completely covering the apples? Yep. Okay. Yeah, kind of like a pie, completely. It's, yeah, it's just... And then you press it down so that it doesn't spill out on the sides when you're baking it. When you get it pressed down, then just make some slits so that it has air. Then you're going to take your egg white. And just do a couple of these just so it's mixed up. <coughs> and you take your egg white and you just scrape it off the top and that's pretty much it for you bake it for a half hour and when you're done baking so I don't hit you 
I usually have. Oh, I didn't wait. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> usually, I have some frosting mix from something or another, and I'll. As soon as it comes out of the oven, I frost it and let it sit. Let it take it right out of the oven and frost it right away. And there's your apple bars. That's great, Dorothy. So I see you have a finished product. Yes, over I do. There. So can we sample the apple bars? You certainly may. That's why. That looks super pretty. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I tested it to make sure it was, it was okay. edible. I understand. <laughs> For Christmas, I made 12 of these, and I covered them up with that lid, that plastic lid, and that was my kids' grandchildren's part of their Christmas present. That's what they wanted from Bubby. So, you want to taste some? Oh, yeah. He definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> We've watched it. Oh. Do you want to go on the table and get the napkin? I can. Dorothy, did you make this napkin holder? No, my mother-in-law did. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> my mother-in-law was always making something. Whoops. Kelly or Aubrey? Thank you. Kelly? Here you go. Thank you. You're going to do it all together. So, photographer, did you want one or are you going to wait? I'll wait. There you go. Are you jealous? Yep. Yeah, we're going to eat and you're not going to get to. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Here we go, guys. Ready? One, two, three. Mm. Dorothy, that's mm -hmm. really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I want to try peaches one of these days next summer. I'll when I buy some peaches off. Yeah. It sounds good. You want to come closer and look at these lovely bars? Oh, yeah. They're really tasty. <laughs> I like how it's not super sweet. It's no, not they're not. Sweet. Yeah. It's very refreshing. So? So, guys, thank you for joining us today. I'm glad you took the time to watch this. Um, thank you, Dorothy, for letting us in your house and just grab your recipe from you and sharing with us. And if any of you want to share a recipe or some kind of hobby that you do and want to share with the whole CSA family, let Kelly, Kelly, wave your hand. Contact Kelly at kdegan at csalife.com and she will arrange for coming out to either film you or figure out how to get this out on social media. Thanks, bye.